Hi everyone, I believe that this video is going to find you well wherever you are now. Professor Hamu is on the same move with the Gen Z and is now exposing William Ruto after he had withdrew the finance bill which was signed by the MPs in the parliament. Professor Amu is still insisting and saying that this deal which have been done by President Ruto is just buying of time. But to just have interest on the finance bill to pass after 21 days. Speaking, I don't know when he was driving or in the vehicle, but on that clip I just want to play, is curious and demanding for justice to those who are still demonstrating and for those who are still fighting back at home like us, that the government to understand the people in the Republic of Kenya. And that is whatever we want to discuss and come out with a resolution on Professor Hamo now rejecting William Ruto. But before I carry on, ladies and gentlemen, I want to take this golden chance to thank the new subscribers who tune in and subscribe to our channel. I want to say thank you very much and God bless you. And if you are watching me for the first time, you've never subscribed, subscribe. Like this video, watch, share and give us your opinion. And as you bother the same boat with the members, stay welcome and welcome all to Zion Analysis, the best home of political observation. Let's take a look and listen to Professor Hamu on how he was speaking on this clip. There's absolutely nothing in our laws that ref is referred to as a, with uh, a withdrawal of an act of parliament. The executive is not part of the uh, parliament or the legislature and therefore the executive cannot interfere with the parliamentary processes under our constitution. That is to mean, therefore, that the president cannot purport to indicate that he has withdrawn the act. And Kenyans must understand this is an act of parliament. It becomes an act upon enactment. Presidential assent is, no, assent is not a mandatory requirement of our laws. Upon the lapse of 14 days, that act will become binding it will uh, commence and it will be one of our laws. So the most genuine thing that Mr. William Ruto should have done is to advise his members of um, um, National Assembly, the MPs, to go and repeal the act. So let nobody lie to us that he has withdrawn the, uh, the act. There is nothing in our laws or in our parliamentary procedures known as withdrawing an act of parliament. That is alien, it's not part of our laws, nobody should lie to us. The only way to deal with that issue is Mr. William Ruto should have sent back the act to parliament with his recommend, uh, recommendation contained in a, memora in a memoranda proposing areas of amendments or even proposing the uh, parliament to completely repeal it. But Mr. William Ruto cannot lie to Kenyans <laughs> that he has withdrawn the act. He has no constitutional capacity. He has no legal mandate. He is alien to parliament. It's only parliament that can do it. Our country could have such kind of leaders. Not that I'm campaigning for Matiangi, but he had been my friend. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because Matiangi was somehow right. Because we have reached a situation where these people, they have no fear. And you, you, you can also confirm viewers. They have no fear, but just passing a clear information to the current head of state. Furthermore, uh, Muranga, uh, Muranga governor, Irungu Kangata, is also hiking tax. 
solution, saying that hiking taxes is not a solution. He tells Ruto's administration. And he's saying that it's going to inform the government of the pain being experienced by local youth and the need for the Kenya Kwanzaa administration to listen to their voices. It is now time, President Ruto, to listen to the people's voices. There is no time, but time is now. You listen to the people whom you are ruling. You won't believe on whatever Professor Hamo is saying. But this is a clear rejection. They have even reached this stage to reject the current head of state. So how is the people going to secure their votes 2027? Those are the questions we must ask ourselves. And how are they going to convince Kenyans? Yet they had not have interest on the people. I mean, when you want to rule people, you must listen to them. When you want to have a clear conversation with the people, you must understand them. And that is whatever Professor Hamo is saying. Professor Amo, those who know him, is also a content creator. He had worked on Churchill TV show and he has life experience <laughs> a little bit. So according to me, Hamo is right and is very right. He's speaking sense. He have not intimidated anyone but but a kind of advice is giving to the current head of state. All those demonstrations happening in the country, they are just feeling of expression. Being expressed, being expressed by our youth. Because of the total failure which Ruto and his administration have failed to do to the people. And they must understand this. Whether they will hide, whether they will travel to heaven, whether they will go to Jupiter, whether they will go to sun, we are living in the earth. And when we still live in the earth, we must be subjected to the people surrounding us. It is not all about experience you have. It is not all about how powerful you are. It is not all about how you influensive you are. But it is all about humbling yourself and listening to the people. Because these people are the ones forming the government. And therefore, Abraham Lincoln, the late, was not foolish to say that the government is made for the people, with the people, and by the people. In a conclusion, there is a dead end arrival on Professor Hamo now exposing William Ruto on the withdrawal of the finance bill which have been rejected by the current generation, so-called the Gen Z, and not only them, by the way, majority of them, including me, I had rejected that, and I keep, I'm still repeating, I've rejected the finance bill, whether you like it or not. And I know the reason why I've rejected it. I understand it deeper. So, William Ruto must come out clearly and uh, not just Kutudanganya at Yami withdraw. He is keenly waiting for 21 days. After 21 days, he will mumble it up at Now, you 21 days, the OPA, we are telling him he must subject himself to the people.
Yes. Kenya ni yetu. Na ni, yetu, ni sisi sote tunaishi kwa hii Kenya. I like how Hamo is also reasoning. Ladies and gentlemen, we can do the research analyzed day in, day out, night. But things might change, yeah? And whatever we are saying is a great impact and a great advice to the current government. I wish you all the best. But before I, I end this analysis, please those who are demonstrating, so don't expose our Gen Z that they are the ones who are deconstructing properties. There are some people who demonstrate badly and they end up, they end up destroying people's property. That is wrong. Demonstrate peacefully and be patient. Let's wait for this government to do something. They are human beings. They all have ears. And I believe Ruth have listened to this. But what I want to say, don't demonstrate until you end up being shot for nothing by even stoning police officers. And to the police officers also, stop using forces. Understand these people.